السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ انجوائنگ گڈ ہیلتھ ہیپی سمر ویکیشنس ایز یو آل نو دیٹ ان سمر ویکیشن وی ڈو سمر ورک سو لیٹس ڈسکس آور سمر پیک وٹ وی ول ڈو ان اٹ فرسٹ ون از کمپریہنشن سو ان کمپریہنشن وی ریڈ دا گیون پیسج اینڈ دین آنسر دا کوشچنس گیون ان دا بک So here is your comprehension passage number one. I will tell you the short summary of this passage. This passage is basically about your brain, how faster your brain work and how powerful your brain than a supercomputer is. It stores many information, it do the action so quickly and how it works in it. So in this we are discussing that how our brain works and our brain's ability. These are the questions we will answer them according to the paragraph. The first one is your brain has the ability to download, process and react to information coming from your eyes, ears and other sensory organs. Dash are microscopic cells, neurons. What happens every time you learn something new? The structure of your brain changes. And what should you do if you are having a hard time learning? Get up and exercise. Next topic is decrease of adjectives. There are three degrees of adjectives, positive, comparative and superlative. In positive degree, it's a simple degree like angry, bad, big. But in comparative degree, we compare two things together. For example, Ali is angrier than Hassan. And the superlative degree is the superior degree. When we compare one thing with the whole class, for example, Ali is the angriest in the family. Let's solve the exercise. In this, we have a table of positive, comparative and superlative degree. We will write comparative and superlative degree of adjective including than and the. Than is used with comparative degree and the is used with superlative degree. Like good its comparative degree is better than and superlative is the the best nice nicer than the nicest so in this way we will complete this activity in the next part we will write first comparative form and then in the next question we will write the superlative form of adjective for example we will change the bracket word into comparative form like old older good better afraid more afraid nice nicer and in the next part pretty prettiest bad worst high highest good best clean cleanest clever clever and the last one expensive most expensive next topic is about indefinite pronouns indefinite pronoun refer to an indefinite person or thing which is not specified for example i have eaten everything in my fridge i have nothing for breakfast i need to find something or anything would be okay so indefinite pronouns are the pronouns which are not specific let's solve the activity in this activity we will choose the correct indefinite pronoun dash have turned in their assignments each dash came for the opening of the new store everyone daniel looked for his dog everywhere very dash agreed with mr anderson's idea few i don't want dash to join my group i don't want anyone to join my group last one is it was 10 pm when someone rang my doorbell Next topic is about simple present tense. As you all know, simple present tense are used to describe our daily and regular habits, unchanging situations and general truths and fixed arrangements. Its positive formation is subject plus first form of verb s and es plus object. S is the subject. For example, I run fast, you run fast. He runs fast. We use S or ES with he, she, it and third person. Like she runs fast, it runs fast. Its negative formation is S plus helping verb which is do and does. We use do with I, we, you, they and plural noun and 
does with he, she, it and singular noun. For example, I don't run fast, you don't run fast, he does not run fast. The last one is interrogative. In this helping verb comes first before the subject, then first form of verb and last object plus question mark. For example, do I run fast? As we all know that we use do with I, we, you, they and does with he, she, it and singular noun. So do you run fast? And the next example is does he run fast? Let's do the exercise. In this, we will simply add S or ES to the verbs like see, sees, take, takes, brush, brushes. The words ending with SH, CH, X, double S, we add ES to these words like brush, brushes, miss, misses. So in this way, you will complete this. Next question is underline the correct variant. We will choose correct form of verb like Tom tidies his room every Saturday. Tom is a singular noun. With singular noun, we write S or ES with the verb. We listen to the music. We are plural. So we do not write S or ES with, with the verb. Mary usually watches TV in the evening and the girls often play with the dolls. Like girls are plural, so we write play. I swim in the pool on Sunday. With I, we do not write S or ES with the form of verb. They dash their homework every day. They do. In the next part, we will rewrite the sentence with the new subject. The subject is in the bracket like Kate likes to eat an ice cream. I like to eat an ice cream. We replace Kate with I. We go to the zoo every Sunday. We replace we with Sam. Sam goes to the zoo every Sunday. Like if the subject changes, the form of verb also changes. Like we go and Sam goes. In the next, we will simply add don't or does not in the fill in the blanks. Like Bill is singular noun. Sing with singular noun, we write does and with plural noun, we write do. Like Bill does not play tennis every Sunday and I don't like to get up early. So, in this way, you will complete this activity. In the next, it's an interrogative one. So, in this, we will add helping verb at first. Like, does Kate, you have to focus on the subject. If the subject is singular noun, you will write does. And if the subject is other than the singular noun, like I, we, you, they, or plural noun, so you will write do. In the next part, simple, we will write the questions to the underlying word. The underlying word is 8 hours. Ben sleeps 8 hours every day. So the question to this word is, how many hours does Ben sleep? We water the flowers in 2 days. The flowers. So the question to this is, what does we water? So in this way, we will complete this activity. In the next part, you will simply write the past form of these regular verbs. These are all the regular verbs. As you all know, regular verbs are formed by simply adding ed at the end of the verb. Like help, helped, visit, visited, tied, tidied, print, printed, prepare, prepared. So we will complete it like this. And the next one is write a letter to your friend telling him about a dream you have had describe what the dream was about and how did you feel when you got up and the positive negative impact and at the last you will ask your friend to share her dream with you in this way you will write a complete letter like at first you will write examination hall city abc date dear friend and the body of the letter and you will you will end it with the salutation like say my salam to your parents yours sincerely xyz the next part is like a puzzle. You will solve this like with the help of numbering. In the first one, opposite of quiet. You will write opposite of quiet is noisy. In the second, opposite of finish. Opposite of finish is start. So in this way, you will complete this puzzle. And in this part, you will write meanings to these words like command means order, delightfully means charmingly, leap, a quick movement, haste and be quick to do something and presented means to provide so after writing the meaning you will write the sentences of these words like the teacher command us to complete our work 
द होटल इज डिलाइटफुली सिटुएटेड क्लोज टू द वाटर फ्रंट सो इन दिस वे यू विल कम्प्लीट दिस पेज द नेक्स्ट वन इज यू हैव गिवन अ सिचुएशन एंड यू विल राइट अ डायलॉग बिटवीन यू एंड द एनिमल यू केम ए क्रॉस वाइल वर्किंग थ्रू दी forest like you woke up one day and you found you have a super power which you are able to talk with animals like i am writing ali is walking through the forest ali uh, came across a peacock and ali is saying hello to the peacock ali hello proudy peacock peacock in a surprised manner hello ali i can understand what you will say so in this way you will complete a dialogue between ali and other animals like you can write elephant lion and many other animals in the forest in this activity you will read the paragraphs and rewrite them in the summary of only one sentence like we will read a first paragraph a human skeleton which is made up of 2606 bones to be exact bones give your body structure let you move in different ways and protect protect your internal organs so this paragraph is basically about bones so we will write the summary of this paragraph only in one sentence a human skeleton has 206 bones which protect internal organs and it takes 25 years to grow big bones so it's just a single sentence and we have written a summary of this paragraph you will complete the rest of the paragraphs like this these are the creative writings you will create your own story with the help of this picture like you have given a picture and the vocabulary words you can use these vocabulary words in your story like once there was a forest it was dark so you have to write your own story with the help of these vocabulary and picture the next one is also a creative writing in this you have given a situation you walk into your house and it's completely different furniture decor all changed nobody is home share your feeling about the unexpected change the decor of the house the empty house and confused state you are in and how you came out of it so in this way you will write a paragraph on this topic so these are the summer pack topics hope you all understand take care of yourselves allah hafiz bharna hai i love the